Hey guys, and from the title, you already know what this video is all about. Booty, glutes, peach, plum, whatever you want to bloody call it, this is happening in this video. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel and make sure that you are following me on Instagram and comment down below for any future videos that you would like to see. And do make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it does support my page and it makes me produce more content for you guys. I'm not even going to give you an introduction. I actually just went to the gym, recorded this workout. It was such a good workout. Honestly, my glutes are on fire. So we're literally just going to go straight into the workout and I hope you thoroughly enjoy it. Before we get into the actual workout, I really wanted to give you a little bit of background on the glutes and the science behind the glutes. The first factor I want you to consider is that the glutes are compromised of three different muscles. The gluteus maximus, medius, and minimus. The maximus is the largest area of the glutes, while the medius is somewhat in the side region of the glutes, and it's the most amazing stabilizer. The glutes function in so many different ways and as you will see from this video, I have comprised the whole video in different variations of movements to help you target the glutes as much as possible. Before the actual workout, I also want you to make sure that you are activating your glutes. You must, must, must be activating those buns because honestly, your workout is just not complete. Make sure you check out my Instagram because that's where I post all my activations and warm-ups. Right, let's get into this video. The first exercise we're going to start with is the hip thrust. For me, this is such a staple in all of my glute workouts. It is known as the queen of glute exercises because it provides optimal contraction and full hip extension. Make sure that you point your toes slightly outwards. This is because external rotation does increase glute activation. As you can see here, I'm protecting my hip bone by using a pad. It is essential to use a pad because I do not want you being all bruised up and hurting yourself. And as you can also see, my shoulders and my back are really secure on the bench. Make sure that you are driving through your feet, extending your hips vertically through the bar. Your weight should be supported by your shoulder blades and your feet. Extend as far as possible, then repeat the movement. And if that wasn't bad enough, I decided to superset this just with some body weight hip thrust. And I know this is killer because I wasn't using a light weight to be honest, but this is such a great burnout, it's such a great pumper. And you know what? Sometimes body weights are needed just as much as weights. So I did 10 reps of the hip thrust with the weights, then 10 reps just my body weight and I repeated that four times. The second exercise that I'm going into is abductions, and this will target the sides of your glutes, and my God, were my legs and my glutes burning. Like I said earlier in this video, I'm gonna show you so many different movements so you can hit as many areas of the glutes as possible. And honestly, I strongly recommend to include one sort of abduction in your glute regime. If you don't have this machine, that's fine. You can simply use cables or a very strong resistance band. The third must do exercise on glute days for me is sumo squats. Remember what we said about hip thrusts. When you rotate your feet and then you point them outwards, this causes more activation in your glutes and that's exactly what sumo deadlifts do. They cause the most activation in your glutes, in my personal opinion. The glutes are made of a combination of fast and slow twitch fiber muscles. Therefore, it makes sense to train the glutes with a combination of high reps and low reps, as we've done in this exercise. Now, what I decided to do is with the sumo deadlifts, I piled on the weight and I only did six to eight reps and I did five sets. With the hip thrust, we did so many more reps. With the abductions, we did more reps. But the sumos, I decided to keep it heavy and very minimal reps. 
The fourth exercise is probably the exercise I find personally the most challenging. It is really difficult because it's a single leg movement, but like I said, I wanted to do as much as possible in this glute workout. Move one foot at the back so that your toe is resting on a flat bench. Your other foot should be stationary in front of you. Keep your head up and make sure that your back is straight and your chest is up whilst you're performing this exercise. Please don't worry too much if your knee is slightly over your toe. So long as your knee is parallel with your toe and is following the direction of your toe, that's what your focus should be. So if your knee is slightly just a little bit in front of your toes, don't panic too much. Now, a lot of people do this two different ways. You can be close to the bench or you can be a little bit far away from the bench to get a deeper stretch. Whatever you feel comfortable with, do it. The final exercise is a bodyweight pumper. And for me, bodyweight pumpers at the end of a glute exercise is honestly lethal. Like I was seriously shaking. I'm doing a reverse hyperextension. My heels are together. And this is because I feel the most contraction when I'm doing this with my heels together. Um, you can have them far apart. It's truly whatever you fancy. And I did this at a high rep. So I did about 20 reps and I was dying. So that was the workout. I told you it was gonna be intense. As, um, oh, itchy nose. <laughs> As you saw, we had compound movements such as deadlifts, we had thrusting, we had pumper exercises. And like I also said, you must remember that the glutes are made out of fast and slow twitch fiber muscles. So that means a whole different mixture is required for the glutes to grow. Yes, heavy weights are required, but also pumpers I feel are necessary too. That's why we ended the workout with pumpers now i also finished my workout and i'm having a shake and this shake is my woman's best iso way in vanilla then i added some protein water and one banana i'm not gonna lie i added a bit of don't judge me we will do it so i added a bit of nutella oh and just to make it a little bit more chocolatey and nice so that is the workout. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, I love you always and forever. And...